Specialists are the best way to raise stats in this game, especially when they're put on the weapon for those that raise the actual stats themselves. There are others that are don't really have any use on the on the weapon. Yeah, there's three pages because there's a bunch of specialists on this. But anyway, so what do the specialists do anyway? Well, HP. That is done with a dietitian, of which I really don't find much use for at all. Unless of course you have low aptitude for defense and and speed, or in that case you might want to consider those. Uh for raising SP, consider using Masters. Beyond a thousand really doesn't have much use, considering that staves and leveling up will eventually kind of make it up, and weapon mastery along with it. You'll almost never run out of SP anyway. Attack is raised by Gladiators, and on him I got it maxed. Those are very common and extremely useful. For intelligence, useful on wizards like this, teachers, it's a pretty strong staff, wouldn't you think? But anyway, for defense, the sentry, and yes, I've got it maxed on him too. Sentries are incredibly useful, although they're fairly uncommon and generally not all that effective for the numbers, but their rewards are well worth it. He can face level 9999 enemies as is right now and hardly have any problems with it because his defense is so high they get he gets zeros. Lots of them, unless of course he gets surrounded. Speed is done with coach. These are prone to that. But for speed, well, that's evasion. Whereas evasion and you're next to impossible to hit. Or you can still get hit, of course, but you're uh, less likely to, to get hit. But to get hits, or to take hit the enemy better, you need marksmen to raise hit. But much beyond about 5,000 on, any, on anything that doesn't use, that anything that's not a gun or a bow is kind of pointless. Because your accuracy is essentially perfect better than anyone. At least that I've seen. Res is for magic resistance, and that's done with the physician. Those, well, help with the invincibility type effects as well. And I'm trying to get some on those, but like the century, they're pretty rare and hard to come by, but the rewards are well worth it. For a raising experience, of which you don't get a direct boost, that is done with the statistician. Do note that 300 and above is effectively the same thing. It's exactly 300. So, you may be noticing the 562 there, which is rather high. Well, it's... well, for... because when I started this game, I didn't really know that that capped at 300. So, I, I know the number kept going up, so I went further until I noticed that the stats weren't going up anymore. But anyway, these are for status resistance. The pharmacist is a must, because poison can be really devastating. Because sure, you may be getting zeros and missed like crazy, because you're extreme hot defense, resistance, and speed, but poison can still eat you away real quick. So, getting pharmacists will prevent that. Coffee makers for sleep. Of moderate use. Above 20 is about 20 and above is where you want to basically go to. Psychologist is for amnesia. I really don't find much use in that, because originally I wasn't using special skills much. But I think and so far I really haven't noticed any that happening, because it expires pretty much when the turn ends. Social workers for paralysis. Very useful, but 20 and above is about where you want to go. Much above 20 is kind of pointless. So in other words, 20 is where you want to go to. Medicine Man, well that prevents the... Uh, the status effect, I don't know what it's called, but it causes you to no longer gain experience. But when you're making use of the Clone Wars trick, then you might want to consider using a lot of those. 
pointless trick. Yeah, I know. Managers for mana. Kind of pointless. Brokers for money. Kind of pointless when you have 3.6 trillion. Yeah, trillion. The next step after billion, then million, then thousand. Way up there. The next three are for elemental resistance. Cryophiles for ice. Cryo meaning ice. Firefighters for fire. Should be self-explanatory. Uh, aeronaut is for wind. Aero, wind, you know. For those, 140 is the highest you'd really want to go. But for him, it's 90 because he's all zeros to start with. But there are others. For one, the hypnotist. That puts enemies to sleep. The, uh... What's wrong button? Amnesiac causes amnesia on enemies, which really helps, because it prevents them from using special skills, speeding the process up. Witch Doctor causes paralysis, of fairly low use. There's also some others as well that I don't quite really remember the names of. Gangster, well that one's kind of useless, because it prevents enemies from gaining experience. But if you want to make the use of the Clone Wars trick, then you certainly don't want a gangster involved. But the other one is Alchemist. If you, that puts enemies to... causes poison on enemies. Useless, really. Useless, you might be thinking? Well, if an enemy is defeated by poison, you get nothing. Zero. So, eh, I'd rather discard that off of an enemy. But I rarely use him because his weapon mastery is so low. But, now it's time to f consider using specialists. Yeah, I got a lot of junk in here. A lot of junk. But you can either use items from here and grab the specialist southeast since there's quite a bit to go. And this one I find really strange. It has almost no effect. It basically supposedly restores HP and SP. But, when you think about it, these specialists are unusually powerful for something as weak as that. You kind of find it suspicious. I'm trying to get a legendary one of those, see what happens. But you'll definitely need some of these Mr. Jancy's exits if you really want to speed the process up. If not, I'll explain how you get them. But let's say you really don't want to sacrifice anything and you really want to just quickly go through these. Well, Go to the shop. Pair of managers, that's a first. But the cheaper the item you go to, the worse the effect. That one's not too bad if you're after elemental resistance, but that's not what I'm after. But if you don't have anything, just leave the shop and re-enter it. You don't even have to move. And you get brand new things. Just keep repeatedly visiting the shop until you see something that you really want. Ooh, not bad for coaches. Let's see what else there is. Ooh, that's not too bad for Sentry. I'll go after that then. And that. Now, what we need is to go to the item world. But first, yes, combine them. It'll speed the process up some. You can't move them, so let's see which one of these do I want to go after. The sentries are more important, so I'll go after that. That enemy resident level is rather high, but that's because I've maxed out the stronger enemies build. Okay, just press R2 to find out where the gate is. And skip. A lot. Enemy in the way? No problem. Move it out of the way. Or defeat it. That's another option. But whatever you do, don't throw the enemy on, the, on your own base panel. Wait, got another pyramid in the way. Ooh, these things get annoying. Pyramid Geo Symbol. It's what I call them because, well, what do they look like? It looks like a pyramid, don't it? 